A common problem with leg stands is that they often only work with certain machines. However, this machine has universal brackets which I've put on underneath there. We now want to fix this RAGE 2 machine onto those brackets. They won't actually fit directly, so we do need to make an adapter plate so that we can get this machine to work with this leg stand. This will be a useful video for a lot of people because some people may have a different make of Mighty Saw and they may want to use a cheaper stand like this which is a very good quality stand for the money. You can see that I've put the two fixing brackets on already and I've just ensured that they are tight once they are clamped in position. So you can use anything for doing this as long as it's flat. I'm going to use this piece of aluminium checker plate which is a piece of scrap that was left over from another job. If you don't have a suitable piece of aluminium like this, you can of course use a piece of wood, such as a piece of external plywood. This piece of aluminium is only just wide enough. I do need it as wide as possible, so that I can get the mounting brackets wide enough, so that I can bolt onto the Rage 2 from underneath. So that will go in the middle there, and the brackets will be on the very outside of the piece of aluminium. You'll notice that this has actually been bent, so I'm actually going to cut that using the Rage 3 so that we have a nice square piece of aluminium. You can see that the Rage 3 cut through that absolutely no problem at all and it has also given us a very clean edge but I'm just going to file it up a little just in case there are any short bits on the edge. I've now clamped the brackets to the leg stand and I've put them in the correct position so that we can centre this piece of aluminium. I'm going to use these bolts to fix the aluminium to the brackets. These are a little bit on the long side, but they will not obstruct anything on the bracket. These are M6 by 30s, or if you are in other countries that don't use metric, that would be a quarter inch UNC by an inch and a quarter approximately. So ideally they could do with being about half of that length, but it doesn't really matter because they won't obstruct anything underneath on the brackets. So I'm just going to slide that back a bit and then we can see the slots in the bracket and we can use them slots to mark our fixing holes. So I'm now just pulling that forwards a bit on the brackets and I'm just going to drill through with a 6mm drill bit. I'm now just going to countersink the holes.
I've now cut the bolt down so it's about 12 millimeters long or half of an inch. This front bolt is a little bit difficult so I'm going to place it in the hole. I'm now going to take the spanner and I'm going to put that into the ring end ensuring that the blue nylock bit is facing down. And I'm going to take the washer and then we can use that to slide it in until we get the bolt started. And then just got to push the bolt in. I'm going to use a washer and the nylock again. Now we've got that started, we can wind that up using the spanner. The Rage 2 actually only has three feet on it. The other one is a piece of metal that goes all the way around there. So I'll put some masking tape on there so we can put this saw on there and we can draw around the feet. So I'm just going to get it exactly where I want it. And then I'm just going to take a marker and I'm just going to draw around the feet. And then I'm just going to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the feet from the machine. And the screws that I've actually used in these feet are M6. So we can simply remove those and we can get some longer M6 bolts and bolt all the way through. But for now, we're going to use those as a guide for drilling through the aluminium. And then I'm just going to open the holes up to 7mm. To fix the machine back down I'm going to use some bolts that I've got lying around. These are M6 by 65mm long socket head. I've put the three feet where they need to go and now I'm going to put the saw back in position. So they are now tight, we don't want to go mad because we are only compressing the rubber feet. But that is now firmly fixed to the mighty saw stand. By using an adapter plate like that, it should enable you to fit virtually any machine you want to virtually any stand.